What's really unique about working on the inland and working in these areas is that we combine our research and our teaching in a mentoring type format so that we're working with local governments, state governments, community groups to try to find solutions to these issues because they're so multifaceted. Uh, economics, the history of it, um, the socio-cultural changes, um, uh, the political aspects, but also even visual arts. How do we understand our spaces and places? And so we need all of this to come together to give us really deep understanding and to help us imagine what can our future be? What will it be? And where do we as inland communities fit within this broader picture? There are city regions that occur beyond the metro. So if you play, take a place like Bendigo or Albury with Donga, or even going up to Wagga Wagga or Tamworth, they're drawing in their regional centers as well. So you have these flows and networks, and they're connected in multitudes of ways. And until we start to really look at what those flows are, we're going to keep thinking that the periphery is the periphery. The truth is, the periphery is really the center of all of these activities because we're still reliant on our agricultural resources Resources. We're still reliant on our innovations that occur in these areas. And frankly, with climate change, it's probably the regional areas that are going to take and um, produce most of the innovations in wind and solar energy because of the space and our ability to do so in those areas.